Hello, what's up you to photographer Ronix Sweat and I try in this tutorial. I want to show you how applicable my tutorials can be in your daily workflow and how they're going to be able to change your workflow within Photoshop as a photographer out there. And if at all you find the video helpful, simply hit the like button because it's going to help you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So recently I did a tutorial about how you can easily steal or copy color grading of skin tones from one image and apply it on your own image so in this way we want to see how applicable that is going to be in photoshop and how you can easily customize it to color grade your images better in the future and have a more uniform skin color for majority or most of your images so we are simply going to go through that quickly because I don't want the tutorial to be a long one. So I'm just going to go quickly into the process of stealing or copying color grading of skin tones. So what I'll do, I'll just come to my find and simply drag this image and drop it over the image that we want color grade in this case. So you drag and drop it over the image that we want to paste or put the color grading onto and simply hold down the alternate and you drag in the corners just like that. So just going to drag and put it on the side so that it is not covering the image just like that. Simply press enter and after placing the image over the image that you want color grade, you are simply going to select the background layer and simply come to the curves adjustment layer. And after coming to the curves adjustment layer, simply select the curves adjustment layer. And after doing that, simply make sure the curves icon has been selected in this case. And after selecting the curves icon and not the layer mask, you can see that we have three eyedropper tools or three color picker tools. And you can see this is for the brightest point, which is the white point, the mid tones, and for the darkest point or the black point, which is the shadows. So we want to copy color grading from this image and paste them onto this image. So after doing that, you're simply going to simply come and you double click right there and it's going to open up the color picker tool and you're going to zoom into the image from which you want to copy the color grading so move and you look for the brightest point on the image from which you want to steal the color grading so just so that is okay and simply left click over that area or the brightest area and you're just going to simply click okay and simply press no because we don't want to save this as the defaults simply click no so on the image that you want color grade simply look for the brightest area of that image and simply click over that bright point or the bright area and we're going to do the same for the midtones or the midtones of this very image copy the midtone color from this and paste it on this so select the color picker tool by double clicking on the midtone color picker tool and you're going to zoom in and choose an area we feel should be having midtones on this image. So we're just going to sample from around the cheek area right there and click OK and simply press No. And you're going to do the same for this very image. And we're going to come and we sample or choose an area we feel should be having midtones until the point. So you have to keep on sampling until when you feel like the two images are almost looking alike regarding the colors so i'm just going to keep on sampling up to a point when i feel like the two images are almost looking alike so i'm just going to keep on sampling just like that so by using the midpoint or the midtone color or the pointer you are simply sampling and making sure that we choose a color until when these two images are looking alike so i'm just going to choose maybe from the chin area so you have to keep on sampling and choosing until when you feel like the images are more or looking alike so when you feel like uh, this is okay for you you can stop at that point so i'm just going to keep on sampling and choosing and choosing so this is almost close to what we want so I'm just basically showing you how this is done basically. So if at all this is okay and you love 
the colors in this case and if at all you feel like it is what you have wanted and it is the color that you're trying to go in for when you're color grading you stop at this point and you're just going to you can proceed if at all you want to work or transform the image better so right now i feel like the image is a little bit darker so i'll just come and I create a brightness adjustment layer and simply brighten up the image so if at all like you feel like this is the color grading that you wanted to achieve or copy from this Im image stop right there but you can go ahead and simply delete this and after del deleting it you can come and transform your preset so if at all you feel like the preset is a little bit still on the red side you can even transform and make the preset better by coming and creating a hue and saturation adjustment layer and simply come the master and simply come the reds and simply reduce on the red channel and you can simply pl play around with the hue slider of the reds to get a preset that works best for your image so i'm just going to cue that a little bit so you can see what the hue and saturation has contributed so if at all you want to save this as a preset, preset it is simple after deleting the image from which you are copying the color grading simply make sure that you don't group the color grading so you can see this is basically the before and after so if at all you want to save it as a preset simply come right here to file export and come to color lookup tables and you can simply select cube grid point 32 medium is also selected and simply click on save and you can rename the LUT to whatever you want so i'm just going to name it to basic just like that so basic LUT and i'm just going to save it somewhere on the desktop and i'm just going to simply hit save and it's going to save it as a LUT or preset so right now we are done saving the LUT or preset and we just want to see if at all it's going to apply on this very image so by coming down here to the adjustments and simply coming to color lookup i'll simply come to load 3d LUT, simply click there once again and i'm just going to come to my desktop remember i named my LUT as basic 3d LUT. so this is my basic LUT. simply click on it and simply click on open and you can see it has applied the preset or the color grading on this very image and if at all you feel like it is not enough you can simply duplicate it by pressing ctrl j and that is going to intensify or duplicate the light till what you want or till when you achieve the colors that you want so you can see this is a before and after you can simply come and reduce on the opacity if at all you want to play around with the opacity values of the color grading so this is how you can create and modify your own presets after copying them from a given image in photoshop and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i see you yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating